What is going on YouTube? One of the extra here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Really cool. We're going over the Jaguar SVR. We're going to go over the zero 60. I'm going to talk about the things I like, some of the stuff I don't like, and then obviously just have ridiculous clips of this exhaust because, oh my God, does this sound amazing. Let's go. So we are in sport mode, dynamic, paddles, first gear, zero to 60 and go. And go, uphill. <laughs> oh my God, that's so crazy. I love the noise this thing makes. Oh boy. All right, so that's a zero to 60 out of the way. Let's kind of get into some of the things I absolutely love about this car. Uh, first and foremost, is that noise. It is the most intoxicating sound you could ever have in a car. That exhaust note is so, so incredibly good. There's just nothing that really matches the sound of a V8 and then the sound of a supercharged V8. There's just nothing that compares to them. They got that grunt. And this thing with that ta full titanium exhaust has such a ridiculous noise. And then when you knock it down. <laughs> that comes stock. Like everyone else wants these crazy exhausts that do that for them. This thing comes stock like that. Hear that squeak? A lot of people don't go for the carbon ceramic brakes because of that noise, but I don't know. I don't mind the noise that much. If anything, it makes it a little more unique and a little more racy. So there are really only two driving modes, actually three driving modes, if you will. Right now I'm in dynamic. This little switch down here, I put it back in the normal. And then you have wet mode. And wet mode makes sense for you know, wet driving. Another thing that some people might find as a negative on this car is the infotainment center. For something that's this price point, again, brand new, is like 147. It's very lacking. It's missing a lot of creature comforts, missing a lot of features. It's kind of slow and antiquated. And to most, that's going to be a downside. I don't mind it as much. I mean, it's actually kind of behind what the 2014 Corvette was that we had before. That infotainment center was pretty nice, a little slow, but it had all the connectivity and it, it definitely allowed for better use and a little more user friendly than what this is. Also, the audio in this car, even though it's a Meridian sound system, isn't really that great. Honestly, I think the Bose system that was in the vet sounded better. This, for whatever reason, eh, it's okay. Also the dash, I do like the analog style gauges. Uh, that is something that I think is always going to be timeless and you'll never really have a problem. There's a little center dash piece to this that is very lacking. I mean, you can't even get that many menus. You have your trip, your vehicle information, you have your tire information, tire pressure, and if you have a warning, it gives you a warning, but that's it. You know, where are my G's? They're in here. To actually get to that, you actually have to go to the dynamic and that's where you get all of the extra screens you want. Your start, stop time, your G meter. All right, so now that I got some free road in front of me, a little clear, let's talk about some of the things that I really enjoy aside from that, oh my God, intoxicating sound. The handling. Again, this is an all wheel drive car, so you would expect it to understeer a little bit and push into the turns. But because these brakes are really good, and I mean really freaking good, you can minimize a lot of that understeer. The steering is light and gives you really good feedback. I know that some people said it's a little numb, you feel a little disconnected. 
in some instances I can say yes, but for the most part, I think it's actually a really good feel. I would like a little more weight to the steering, especially when you put it in dynamic mode. I would like the steering to stiffen up a good bit, but you know, the suspension, <laughs> like that's a very tight S and man, did that just stick. I would come down through one of the most beautiful little picturesque drops. This apparently someone destroyed a whole bunch of signs right there. Whoops. Hopefully they didn't go off. But the steering is very agile, very quick. As you hear all of the stuff in the seats sliding around, I apologize for that. Didn't think this through. But yeah, you just dab on the brakes a little bit and the nose goes exactly where you want. And you see how quickly how touchy that was, Whew. the throttle is extremely responsive, extremely responsive. What's really cool at uh, 60 miles an hour, the spoiler actually does deploy. I know a lot of people have said that this is not a uh, automatic spoiler or a functioning piece of aero. Well, it actually is. Ooh, someone crashed, a whole bunch of glass. <laughs> so much stuff I'm finding. Here's one point I'm gonna make about the carpet ceramic brakes. They're insanely good they're very strong once they're warm. I actually was going to take this car in to get it looked at because I thought the brakes weren't working properly until I remembered that they're Karma Ceramic and a buddy of mine that's a master mechanic for Jaguar is like, yeah, the Karma Ceramic, especially in this car, really don't come to their own until they get up to temperature and uh, it shows. <laughs> this car, you need to have some heat built up in your brakes for them to really function. Now, normal driving, it's okay. And stop and go, you're, you're pretty much fine, especially through the city. It's when you start to push it, like I am through the canes a little bit, where you kind of notice that you don't quite have the braking force uh, to make you have a warm, fuzzy feeling. You know, something that some people have said about this particular transmission being a single clutch transmission that is slow and a little dim-witted, I don't really see that. I don't actually even feel that. This feels pretty quick. And the thing is, I don't have a huge pool of experience to, to choose from. Obviously, it's the NSX and I've driven some Porsches as well. And obviously, those cars are far beyond what this is. But for a touring car, which I think the SVR kind of is, but it's also incredibly sporty, the transmission's fine and it honestly it's quick enough like hear that that's fourth fifth fourth third and then oh you just have this beautiful noise <laughs> and here we got some quick switches look out just comes out of turn so well. And what's fun is like, it's planted. The suspension is stiff enough, especially in sport mode, or dynamic mode as I call it. You have just the right amount of body lean. <laughs> yeah, the transmission of this works really well. And automatic, I will say though, from a stop, if you're in just normal drive and you try to do a zero to 60 and drive, it doesn't like it, it putters on itself, it kind of falls on its own face. But it's really the only time it does that. Paddles are just a lot of fun. We were worried that it wasn't gonna be quite as fun because we're used to manuals, but nah, this thing's a blast. You know, the interior in here is very nice. It's plush, it's well put together. The fit and finish is fantastic. Uh, is it dated? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's a little dated. It could definitely use a nicer, and a more modern upgrade, especially for the center console here. Uh, again, the screens. I know the newer models does have a better dash, but this is essentially the same. So that's kind of funny. But as far as the comfort of the ride, it's super plush. And coming from a vet to this, this is so, so much more refined feeling from the steering, the brake, the throttle, the way the interior is put together. I mean, this car has got 50,000 miles on it and it doesn't rattle. Like there's no little weird quirks or little squeaks or anything like that on it. And I find that pretty impressive considering how many miles it does have. 
<laughs> it brings you back like it's it's super refined but it's still got that childlike 12 year old attitude about it it really brings you back and it makes see this it's a huge smile from that noise and normally i'm not a huge fan of the popping exhaust but this thing came stock like that so you know what am i not gonna do it come on <laughs> it's just stupid bright red so good looking it's striking and the other thing that's cool about it is all the carbon bits that are on it from the mirrors to the roof to this spoiler that is active so there we have the jaguar f-type svr you know it's refined but it's not so refined that it becomes stagnant and too adult it's actually got a lot of fun to it there's some juvenile in it and it shows through that ridiculous exhaust in the way that it drives the car will play around on you but it's very planted and it's very confidence inspiring it's like my hellcat was but then ticked up a couple notches and just made even more fun so i hope you all enjoy this video there's so much more content coming with the SVR. Hopefully I get it to the track. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Definitely hit the subscribe button. Check out some other content if you will. There's a lot of motorcycle stuff. But with that, I hope you all have a good one. I'm out.